We all make mistakes, but making mistakes when growing peppers could cost you an entire season. In this video, I'm gonna take you through the top eight mistakes that most gardeners make when growing peppers and what to do differently so you don't have to waste an entire season. Hey, I'm Brian with Next Level Gardening. If you're looking to join an online garden community that offers tips, tricks, and support to help take your garden to the next level, you're in the right place. Get started now by clicking subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss anything. Now let's get growing. If you've made some of these mistakes before, let me know in the comments. And if you have a remedy for some of these issues that I don't mention, please throw that down in the comments as well. Number one is not enough sun or too much sun. Uh, if the plants don't have enough sun, they're gonna take a long time to grow. They're not gonna thrive. They're gonna take a long time for the fruits to actually ripen. Six to eight hours of sun is a good aim for peppers. And this is actually, uh, the best way to have your sun is morning and midday and not afternoon sun. If you can put up something to shade your, your peppers in the afternoon, that's the hottest, most direct sun. And what happens with peppers is, if they're in that sun, every day in the hot afternoon sun, the spot that that sun is hitting every day the most is gonna develop sun skull. And that is an ugly, inedible spot on your pepper. And you can still eat the rest of the pepper, but sometimes if it gets bad, infection will develop and it will ruin the whole fruit, depending on where it is during the ripening process. So aim for six to eight hours of morning and midday sun and your peppers are gonna love it. The second common mistake that is made when growing peppers is incorrect spacing. Now, peppers like a little room between them and other types of plants. If you're doing companion planting, you know, you might wanna keep about 18 inches away from the actual pepper stalk to plant those plants. Now, that doesn't mean that individual pepper plants need to be planted 18 inches. In fact, peppers seem to do better when they're almost growing two of them right out of the same spot maybe an inch apart. They seem to thrive and actually help each other in that situation. So 18 inches for non-pepper plant spacing, but you can go ahead and plant a couple pepper plants real close together, but leave enough space between them and the next couple of pepper plants. Number three is improper watering. Peppers like a consistently moist soil. They're related to tomatoes and it's very much the same situation. If there are huge fluctuations in wet, dry between waterings, your peppers can develop blossom and rot. Now that looks similar to sun scald. It's a little bit darker and it's on the bottom of the fruit. Now I preach drip all the time, but I really do think that is a good solution, especially for plants like tomatoes and peppers who, do, uh, who are very sensitive to fluctuations in watering and we'll show that, that sensitivity through blossom end rot. Uh, another way you could improperly water is from above with a hose spraying the leaves. Uh, you wanna keep the leaves as dry as possible. Same with, same with tomatoes, even though peppers do not suffer from as many disease issues as tomatoes do, they do have some of the same diseases. So keeping the leaves dry as much as possible, we can't control the rain, but watering from below, again, with drip if possible, is going to be a remedy for a lot of those problems. Number four is a controversial mistake. Some people consider it a mistake, some people don't. I consider it a mistake and that would be not pruning your peppers, not topping them in the beginning. Um, topping peppers just means taking out the top when they're maybe eight inches, 10 inches high. And what that does is that takes the hormone that is in that growth tip that is trying to shoot a rocket of leaves and, and, and growth straight up, that takes that and that pushes that hormone back down into the plant. And all the little leaf nodes down there that are just kind of sitting there dormant are gonna wake up, create a bushier plant with more growth tips and more growth tips means more flowers and more flowers mean more peppers. So in my opinion, topping a pepper plant is the way to go and not topping it would be a mistake. Another reason you wanna to top them is because if it shoots that growth straight up, a lot of times it's kind of a weak, uh, gr weak growth. And so it will put on peppers and start to bend over with the weight of just a few pepper. And it, depending on the stem, it could snap the stem, which tops your peppers for you, but if it's late in the season, it's gonna ruin your harvest and not help it. Uh, it's also gonna make it very top heavy for wind. So if you have wind issues, 
you really need to top those those peppers. Oop, change of scenery. I was editing and realized I forgot number five. And number five is not staking your pepper plants. Pepper plants tend to put on more fruit than they can support with dignity and they start to fall over, flop on the ground. If it doesn't break, they're still on the ground, which can introduce disease to the leaves. It can bring the, the peppers down in touch with the soil where there are pests that would love to chew on them. So make sure you stake your peppers, even with a tiny, you know, thin bamboo stake, just tie it up in a couple places, that will do the trick. Number six is not continually harvesting. Just like with a lot of vegetables and flowers too, if you don't harvest, if you hold off and really leave the, the fruit on there once they're ripe, the plant is gonna think it's done its job. It has reproduced, it's created its seed inside that fruit, and it can you know, lay back and retire and enjoy the rest of their life. You don't want to let that happen. So by picking the fruit, even a little before it's completely ripe, like half blushed, half, if it's a red pepper, you know, it's, it's got red on it, and maybe half to three quarters of that red has filled in, you can go ahead and pick it it will continue to ripen, but it will not let that plant think it's done producing its seed because you've taken that from it. It sounds kind of mean, but it is what it is. You want the plant to keep producing pepper. Number seven is not keeping up with pests. Now, in my garden, peppers don't seem to get as many to, uh, pests as tomatoes, but check out the video that I did on pepper companion planting. I'll link that down below in the video description. And that's gonna give you several ideas to uh, make, to get keep pests away from your peppers naturally without having to worry about spraying. Also for disease, you're probably all familiar if you've been with me for a while uh, of the aspirin method of spraying. What that does is it bumps up the, the plant's immune system so it's ready for any kind of, of disease issues that come its way, and it's gonna help fight them off. And I know I've heard from a lot of you, with tomatoes especially, that that has really, really helped you, especially if you live in a humid climate. I'll link that video down below as well. The last one, number eight, I have to say, maybe before you saw my video last fall, this was a mistake that a lot of you were making. In fact, I made it myself up until a few years ago until I found out that peppers are perennial. Now, I've had a lot of people from cold winter climates say, that's great for you, but not for me. Go watch that video I did last fall. I'll link it down below, but I've heard from many of you, even those of you in colder Canada, I have some Canadian viewers who told me that their peppers made it through the winter and they put them out this spring and they're already producing. So I'm not gonna go through the whole process in this video because I did a video that covers it completely. Uh, last fall, again, I'll put it down below, but that would be a huge mistake because when you have a, a grown plant ready to set out as soon as you can in the spring, it's gonna be producing peppers before a seed that you would plant would even be six inches tall. So you're saving a lot of time in your growing season. So that's the eight mistakes. If you learn something, please give the video a thumbs up. It definitely helps the video and the channel. I would appreciate it. Consider subscribing if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.